Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into one of the most exciting updates in C 13 and .NET 9, enhanced parcel properties and indexes. If you have ever wanted to understand these concepts in simple terms and see how they work with real world examples, this video is for you. By the end, you will have a clear grasp of how these features can make your c projects more modular and maintainable. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. c 13 Enhanced Partial Properties and Indexers Explained. Okay, so let's start with properties first in c -Sharp. First, we are going to see the example without partial properties before c 13. Before c 13, we had to define the entire property in one place. Okay, so let's understand with the help of examples on over here. So here, there is a public class named car. As we know, classes are blueprints for creating objects in object-oriented programming. Inside this class, what I have done, I declared a private field named underscore engine of a string type, right? So being private means it can only be accessed within the car class, ensuring encapsulation. Then I wrote full property definition, declare and implement in one place that allows outside code to read and write the value of underscore engine private field using property. So that's the beauty of the property. Even though we do not have the direct access to the private field underscore engine, we could access and set its value using property from outside. So in property full definition, what we have, we have getter and setter. Getter what it does, it returns the current value of underscore engine and we write something like this, get goes to underscore engine, whereas setter, it updates underscore engine field with a new value provided from outside of the class and we write something like this, set goes to underscore engine equal to value. That's how we used to write properties before C-sharp 30. Okay, now let's review the example with partial property that comes with C sharp 13, right? So with C sharp 13, we can separate the declaration and implementation. Think of it like a splitting a task between two people. One person decides what needs to be done. This is nothing but declaration. The other person figures out how to do it. This is implementation. That's what I have written declaration separately, implementation separately. And it is possible due to C sharp 13, where we have this parcel property introduced, right? So now let's see how we are going to implement. In first file, what we do, we declare a property like this public parcel parcel class car, public parcel string engine get and set. So here if you see, there is a public class that I have marked with this parcel keyword, right? And this parcel keyword indicates that this class can be split across multiple files, allowing for better organization, especially in larger projects. Inside this parcel class, I declared a property named engine right over here of a string type. And here also I marked with the parcel keyword so that we can define how the property works into a different file. Here, if you notice, I have mentioned public access modifier. That means this property can be accessed from outside the class. Get and set defines that property has a both getter and setter, allowing you to read and modify the engine value from the outside. In second file, we implement like this. Here, if you see, we have parcel class car, right? So this parcel class car and we have marked with this public keyword. So this class is accessible from other parts of the application. And here also I mentioned the parcel that indicate this class may have other parts defined in the different file. Inside the class, I declared a private string field named underscore engine of a string type, right? that's hold the engine current value. So being private means over here, it cannot be accessed directly outside the class. Then what I have done, I have provided this implementation, how the property works. To do this, what I have done, I defined a property named engine as part of the car class, which is also marked as parcel over here, right? And this property has getter and set. Getter, what does it mean? It means it going to retrieve the value of engine field, right? And the setter, it set the value of the engine to a new value whatever the new value is going to get assigned from the outside of this class, we are going to set it with this setter. Before C-Sharp 13, we could not split properties like this. Now we can. It's a game changer for large projects or when working with auto-generated code. Now let's talk about the indexer. What are indexer? Imagine we have a locker system where each locker has a number. To access a locker, we just use its number. In C-Sharp, an indexer lets us do the same thing with our objects, treating them like arrays or lists. Okay, so let's understand with the help of examples on over here. So here, there is a public class named my collection. And inside that, first of all, what I have done, I have declared a private array of a string called item with a fixed size of 10. That's what I have written private string array items is equal to new string 10. It means it can hold up to 10 string values. Then I have defined an indexer for the class over. So here indexer is nothing but 
that allows instances of the class to be accessed like an array. So there are getters and setters inside this induction. So getter what it does, it is just going to retrieve the value like we fetch the value from the array. So here I have written get goes to items index. Similarly, if you want to set the value to the indexer, how we can do that? We just need to write set goes to items index is equal to value. So when we need a assign a value to the my collection index, what it does, it stores that value in the items array at the specified index. So that's how we use the define index before C sharp 30. With C sharp 13, we can now make indexer partial just like properties as we discussed earlier, right? So here, let's see the example with the partial indexer. So with C sharp 13, we can separate declaration and implementation. That's what I have written declaration separately, implementation separate. So here again, I have declared in the first file. That's what I have written public partial class my collection. And here I have declared the indexer. How we have declared public partial string this int index get and set. And in the second file, I have provided the implementation. That's what I have written public partial class my collection. Here I have declared a private array of strings called items with a fixed size of 10 that can hold up to 10 string values. And then I have implemented the index. So public partial string this int index and here I have set getter and setter. So getter what it, it does, get goes to items index. So whenever we want to access my collection index, it returns the string at the specified index from the item array. That's what we are going to retrieve the value from this my collection as a part of indexer. And similarly, in setter, when we assign a value to the my collection index, it stores that value in the items array at the specified index. So this is the new way where we are separating declaration and implementation with the help of partial indexer. Right. So with C sharp 13, we can now make indexer partial just like properties. Now you must be thinking why use these features? Why does this matter at all? Right. So there are three specific reasons. Number one, modularity. A splitting declaration and implementation makes your code cleaner and easier to manage. Team collaboration. Now multiple developers can work on different parts of a class without stepping on each other toes. Number three auto generate framework or tools can generate the declaration and now you can focus only on the implementation so this is the big deal for the large scale projects or enterprise level application okay so let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in action all right we are in visual studio here we are going to look at two quick programs first we'll check out how we work with properties and indexer before C sharp 13 i will show you a quick demo to refresh your memory and get those basic crystal clear then in the second demo we will explore the exciting new feature introduced in C sharp 13, which is nothing but partial properties and partial indexer. Trust me, by the end, you will see why these updates are a game changer for developers. So let's dive in. To show the first demo, what I have done, I have created one console application named property and indexer demo before C sharp 13. And it has program.cs file. In program.cs file, first of all, I have added necessary namespaces. That's what I have written using system over here. So in the program.cs file, we have three classes, car class, my collection class, and the program class. So in the first class car, we have one private field named underscore engine of a string data type and here I have written full property implementation it means I have declared and implement in one place that's what I have written public string engine getter and setter over here similarly we have another class named my collection it has one string array items that can hold 10 items into it and I have marked with the private identifier over here that means this string array cannot be accessed outside of this class right so how we can access it with the help of indexer. That's what I have written full indexer implementation over here. It means I have declared and implement all those things in one place. That's what I have written public string this int index and getter and setter over here. Now there is another class named program that has main method which is an entry point of this application. So here first of all I have printed this statement into console window demo of property and indexer before C sharp 13. And here I have shown property example and indexer example. I have instantiated the class named car that's what I have written car car is equal to new car and here I have setting the value of this private field engine with the help of property that's what I'm just you know writing car dot engine is equal to v8 engine it means it is just going to invoke this setter thing so I am setting this value v8 engine so it will come and set this value of underscore engine which is nothing but the private field over here and we can do so because this property is public and we can access this public properties and i can set the value of this underscore engine private field altogether so that's how we are doing over here car dot engine is equal to v8 engine so the value is set to the 
private field underscore engine here again I am accessing this underscore engine field with the helper property and this time I am using the getter method altogether right so that's what I have written car dot engine so it is just going to fetch the value whatever I have set it over here so here I have set v8 engine so this v8 engine is going to get printed into console window when this statement is going to get invoked so car engine which is nothing but v8 engine it's going to get printed into console window then what I have done I have created an instance of this my collection that's what I have written my collection collection is equal to new my collection and here in the first collection I am just assigning this value item 1 and if you notice I am accessing this class like an array and how it is possible because I have used the indexer over here so collection 0 is equal to item 1 I have assigned and again I am retrieving the value so collection 0 I have written so whatever the value I have set it over here it is just going to retrieve that value by this way so this is getter this is setter right so whatever the statement whatever the collection value I am going to receive it which is nothing but the item 1 it is just going to concatenate it with this statement and printed into console window altogether so that's how this program is structured to show the demo of property and indexer that we used to write before Shisha 13 right so let me go and execute this program and show this output to you okay so output got appear into console window if you see demo of property and indexer before Shisha 13 got printed and car engine v8 engine got printed v8 engine I have first set it the value and then I have retrieved the value with the getter right that's how it got printed into this console window car engine v8 engine similarly I have assigned the item 1 as a part of indexer to the class named collection and I am retrieving with the help of indexer only with the help of getter right so that's how this item 1 got you know retrieved from this collection which is nothing but the indexer side so collection 0 item 1 got printed over here so that's how we used property and indexer before c sharp 13 now let's switch to the second demo where we will be exploring the new features which is nothing but the partial properties and partial indexer okay so now we are going to look into the second demo where i am going to show property and indexer in the partial way how we can implement it with the help of c sharp 13 to show the demo what i have done i have created one console application named property and indexer demo with c sharp 30 and here we have five classes car declaration.cs car implementation.cs my collection declaration.cs my collection implementation.cs and finally we have the program.cs file so let's review one by one in car declaration.cs what i have done i have defined a parcel class named car and i have declared the property altogether so I have mentioned public partial string engine get set so this is nothing but the partial property I have declared over here in this class right now let's see the another one car implementation.cs so here what I have done I have implemented this partial property that's what I have written public partial class car private string underscore engine and here I have implemented the property so public partial string engine getter and setter I have written get goes to underscore engine set goes to underscore engine is equal to value right so here I have implemented this property so in previous file I have declared it and here I have implemented and similarly in my collection declaration.cs file I have declared the indexer that's what I have written public partial class my collection and here I have declared the indexer and I have mentioned this is the partial indexer that's what I use this partial keyword over here public partial string this int index get and set over here so here basically I have just declared it and the another class in my collection implementation.cs I have implemented the indexer that's what I have written this is the private string array items that can hold 10 items into it and here I have implemented the indexer that's what I have written the partial keyword over here so public partial string this int index get goes to item index set goes to item index is equal to value so basically there are getters and setters over here under this partial indexer so that's how we implement this indexer as a partial one right then finally we have program.cs file in program.cs file there is a class named program that has main method which is an entry point of this application so here first of all i am just printing this statement into console window demo property partial and indexer partial with c sharp 13 i am just printing into console window so here property example and indexer example in property example what i am doing i am just creating an instance of this car class that's what i have written car car is equal to new car and here i am just setting the value of the engine with the help of engine property right so car dot engine is equal to electric engine so basically i am assigning this value it means it is just going to invoke the setter method 
then I'm just retrieving the value from this car dot engine. So it is just going to invoke the getter and we will be getting the value of underscore engine field with the help of this property. That's what I'm just going to invoke it with the help of property. So car engine and this time electric engine we have set, right? So electric engine is going to get connected with this statement and it is going to get printed. Similarly, in indexer, what I have done, I have created an instance of this my collection. That's what I have written. My collection collection is equal to new my collection. And here I am assigning as the index number one position. Collection one is equal to item two. Item two I have assigned at the collection number one position, right? So I am just going to retrieve it. How we can retrieve it? Retrieve it like an array. That's the benefit of the indexer. So collection one i'm just going to invoking so it will give me the item two value it is going to get connected with this statement and going to get printed into console window so that's how this program is structured let me go and execute this program and show this output to you okay so output got appear into this console window if you see demo of property partial and indexer partial with c sharp 13 got printed car engine electric engine got printed so first time we have used this setter method to set the value and then i have used the getter method to get the value from the partial properties right so that's how we are just use this electric engine over here and then this is the collection one item to got printed so this is this got printed with the help of partial indexer that we have declared in the separate file implemented into some different file and i have called in the program.cs file right so first i have used the setter and then i have retrieved with the help of getter method and that's how this collection one item two got printed over here okay so that brings me to end up my session today so now you know how partial properties and indexer work in c sharp 13 and why they are so powerful right so let me know what c sharp feature you'd like me to cover next that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video